In this tutorial, I'll look at managing a basic project using Project Manager, and I'll look at the built-in text editor that was introduced with version 16.11 of Blend for Web. For demonstration purposes, the 3D scene that I will use in the project will consist of a green cube, for simple scenes with basic interactions, there's no need to use Project Manager, just export as Blend for Web HTML, which gives a single file to upload to the internet. If you want to use Script to access the Blend for Web API, then there will be many files. Project Manager is designed to manage the files and from version 16.11 onwards, edit them as well. Clicking Hide Stop Projects hides the Blend for Web example projects, leaving only my projects. At the moment, there's only one, Temp Test 2, which loads my red cube scene. Click Create New Project, and I'm going to call the project My Green Cube. Click Create Application Starter Files, HTML, JavaScript and CSS files. Click Create Scene Starter Files, Blender, JSON and BIN files. Leave the Engine Binding Type as External and click Create Project. Click Back to Projects. So using all the starter files, what do we get? Well, we get a preloader, and we get a cube, but it's the Blend for Web cube, not my green cube. And when we click the Edit link, what do we get? Well, on the left-hand side, we get a list of four files that we can edit. Let's look at the first one. The .b for W project file stores information about the project. But unless you know what you're doing, I would avoid changing any of the settings. The next file, mygreencube.css, is an external style sheet. There are styles for the body of the web page and for the div tag canvas container. Styles in an external style sheet can be overridden by styles in the HTML file. Next is the JavaScript file, mygreencube.js. This is the file that you're most likely to edit. The JavaScript starter file is fairly long and complicated, but it is very similar to the code snippets. So I'll put a link to one of my code snippet tutorials where I go through the script in detail. This section adds the modules from the Blend for Web API used in the script. If your script uses other modules, add them here. In this section are the initial settings for the application. One setting you may need, although I don't need it for my green cube scene, is physics true. The code loads the 3D scene, mygreencube.json, which is my Blender green cube scene exported in the JSON format. When the scene has loaded, this function is called, and provided the load is successful, you place your code here for whatever you want to do with the scene. Blend for Web provide example code snippets and projects, and there are my tutorials and other tutorials for ideas and guidance for things that you can do. The final starter file that the text editor can open is the HTML web page file. This is the link to the external style sheet. There is then a long list of all the Blend for Web JavaScript modules. The unminimized versions of the modules are included so that advanced users can modify them if they wish. Then there is the link to the JavaScript starter file. 
And finally, the div container for the canvas where the 3D scene will be rendered. Now that we've had a quick look at the text editor and the editable files, I'm going to go back to the project manager main page to get my green cube scene to work. The first thing I have to do is replace the starter Blender file with my Blender file. It's in a folder, my green cube, that's in a folder Blender. I'm going to save as from Blender, find the Blend for Web SDK folder, the Blender folder, the my green cube folder, click on the starter file and click save as to overwrite it. If I click on the HTML file, I will still get the Blend for Web cube because although the Blender starter file has been overwritten, the JSON version hasn't. Click the Re-export Scenes link to overwrite the JSON starter file. Note if you've already exported from the Blender file to a different folder, then you'll have to go back into Blender and export to the Deploy Assets My Green Cube folder. I haven't, so I can use the re-export link. Click Back to Projects, and clicking the HTML page, we should get the Green Cube scene. Clicking Build Project makes minimized versions of the files. Click Back to Projects, and clicking Deploy Project generates a zipped version of the files that need to be uploaded to the internet. That's the end of the tutorial. Click the link or the eye icon to visit my website where you'll find more tutorials and support materials. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.